it's going to be a busy weekend here on the channel. We have a lot to get caught up on. This week has been a little bit busier than usual for me. I haven't been able to upload on a regular schedule like we normally do. So this weekend, we're going to get everything caught up. And we're going to start right now with Skip Bayless. You know, I don't even know what to say about Skip Bayless anymore. In one 12-minute segment, this dude not only tried to convince all of us of his importance, he also groveled, he begged for the attention and the admiration, the love of Kevin Durant. I rarely watch Undisputed, although I can tolerate it far more than I can tolerate Woke Take. When I had an office job, I would listen to Undisputed every morning on the radio, but it got to a point where it just became annoying. Shannon Sharp preaching social justice, Skip Bayless begging for his acceptance. I don't like seeing a grown man in his late 60s. Hell, Skip Bayless may even be in his early 70s. Looks good for his age. All that working out it does is paying off. But I just don't like seeing a grown man groveling every day for the acceptance of other men. One of my biggest problems with Skip Bayless, I don't feel like he's authentic. I don't like people who say things just for the sake of controversy. It reeks of bullshit. Skip Bayless used to be a talented journalist, but for the last, I don't know, 15 or so years, he has made a television career simply by saying things he knows will piss people off. Earlier this week, Skip Bayless tweeted about Kevin Durant. KD had just put up another MVP-like performance against the Raptors. He is the best player in the NBA right now. There's no doubt about it. To his credit, though, to his credit, Skip Bayless has been right about Kevin Durant his entire career. He was talking about KD taking over the NBA when he was still at Texas. When other media talking heads were doubting Kevin Durant could make it in the NBA, Skip Bayless was talking about him becoming an all-time great, and he turned out to be right. He tweeted about KD the other night. Here's what he said. The best player on the planet was at it again tonight in Brooklyn, going assassin in overtime for the COVID rock Nets. Nothing like Kevin Durant. You watch LeBron? You see the problem with that? LeBron James has been living rent-free in the mind of Skip Bayless for almost 20 years. This dude has an unhealthy obsession with LeBron James. I have never seen someone more obsessed with another man than Skip Bayless is with LeBron James. It's sickening when you think about it. Kevin Durant didn't like this tweet. He replied back, I really don't like you. Straight and to the point. Straight and to the point. Most people don't like Skip Bayless. Charles Barkley told Pat McAfee yesterday that he hated Skip Bayless. Back in 2005, Charles Barkley said he'd like to kill Skip Bayless. Strong words, but Skip Bayless relishes in this. He gets off on pissing people off. This man begs for negative attention. It's like he has battered wife syndrome. He pisses people off just so they'll abuse him. Yesterday morning, Undisputed opened with Skip Bayless telling the world that he was not going to take the bait from Kevin Durant. Watch for yourself. Shannon Sharp, yep. when I first heard of this yesterday, I laughed and then I laughed some more because Kevin Durant has tried to do this to me several times before dating back to 2012. And this time, I'm sorry, Kevin, I'm not gonna take your bait. I'm not gonna fall into the trap you want me to fall into because this is what you need and what you want. He said he wasn't going to take the bait. Then he proceeded to take the bait and rant about Kevin Durant for 12 minutes. It was 12 minutes of some of the most painful television you'll ever see. It was one of those things that was so sad, it was compelling. Skip Bayless was hurt by Kevin Durant. He's been singing his praises since 2006, and Kevin Durant continues to neglect him. When he was talking about in 2012, Skip Bayless was blasting Russell Westbrook for taking too many shots. KD stuck up for Russell Westbrook, and Skip Bayless went on first take the next morning bitching and moaning that Kevin Durant didn't like him. Yesterday, he went on to compare Kevin Durant to Michael Jordan. Michael Jordan, he actively sought out things to motivate him. 
Didn't matter what it was. It could be something small. Late 80s in their first round playoff series against Cleveland, he used the media picking the Cavs over the Bulls as motivation. The 92 Olympics, he used Jerry Krause's obsession with Tony Kukoc as motivation. Jordan and Pippen, they humiliated Tony Kukoc in the Olympics that year. It could be the smallest thing. Michael Jordan would use it to fuel his fire. Now, does Kevin Durant do the same thing? Yeah, he does. But do I think he uses Skip Bayless as motivation? No. I think he has a genuine disdain for Skip Bayless, just like the rest of us do. Kevin Durant will use negativity on social media to motivate him. He will use negativity in the mainstream media to motivate him. But you tell me, how in the hell can he use the constant praising from Skip Bayless as motivation? How the hell is that going to motivate him? Skip Bayless already thinks Kevin Durant walks on water. How could that possibly motivate him? He's already won him over. Listen to this twisted logic of Skip Bayless. It must be nice to be this clueless. Was my tweet the other night glorifying Kevin to the heavens, right? I, I can't heap any more praise on him, but guess what? Kevin can't stand that. He hates it that I love him too much because it scares him. It shakes him up. He needs fuel. He needs to, to create a controversy, a drama. He needs a feud with me to fuel him in big games. I mean, it must be nice to be that dumb. It scares Kevin Durant that I love him so much. It does scare him. I bet it does. If another man loved me as much as Skip Bayless loves Kevin Durant, it would scare the shit out of me too. KD needs to look into a restraining order. Skip Bayless claiming Kevin Durant needs him to be great is the height of arrogance. It may be one of the most arrogant things I have ever heard from someone in the media. One of the greatest players to ever touch a basketball needs Skip Bayless? Are you kidding? You're just not that important, dude. I don't even think you're on Kevin Durant's radar. I wish KD wouldn't have replied to Skip Bayless because that's exactly what he wanted. That's what he begs for. He doesn't care what kind of attention you give him. He just wants your attention. People like Skip Bayless, the only way you get them to go away is by ignoring them. But I understand why Kevin Durant replied. He was defending LeBron James. He was actually distancing himself from this one-sided feud between Skip Bayless and LeBron James. He does not want Skip Bayless using him to get at LeBron James. Shannon Sharp even alluded to this point yesterday morning. And of course, Skip Bayless got all offended by it. That's what weak men do. They get offended when someone calls them on their bullshit. The truth is, Skip Bayless is projecting. He needs Kevin Durant. He needs LeBron James. They don't need him. He needs the controversy that he creates to remain relevant. He needs the attention so he can feel good about himself. He made the comment that he took the bait from Kevin Durant, even though he said he wasn't going to take the bait. But he said he took the bait because he didn't want people to think that he was running away from Kevin Durant's reply. He didn't want people thinking that he was afraid of Kevin Durant. It's sad when you think about it. At 60 or 70-something years old, Skip Bayless is still worried about the opinion of strangers. He doesn't have an identity. He doesn't know who he is. Shannon Sharp alluded to this too. Skip Bayless always talks about people being afraid of someone. LeBron's afraid of Kevin Durant. It's projecting. Skip Bayless is the one who's afraid. Let me ask you something. How many times have you seen Skip Bayless on radio or television outside of his comfort zone? outside of ESPN, outside of FS1, how many times? Google Skip Bayless interview, try and find one. You might find one, maybe two, but it just doesn't happen. Skip Bayless wants so badly to be accepted by NBA players, it bothers him that Kevin Durant doesn't like him. See for yourself. He wants to, 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 to have me firing back at him to motivate him, and I'm not going to do it this time. I did it last time in 2012. I was hurt by that. I went on TV that day and said, Kevin, how could you do that to me of all people? I'm only supporting you. He was a grown man in his feelings, hurt. Feelings hurt by something a stranger said about him. Skip Bayless doesn't know Kevin Durant. They never met. 
He has been begging KD to come on his show for years. KD won't do it. He'll talk to Stephen A. Smith. KD will give interviews to other media personalities. Won't come see Skip Bayless. And it eats him alive. He is the only person in the media who has supported Kevin Durant, even when everyone else doubted him. And KD won't give him the time of day. This obsession with LeBron and Kevin Durant is past the point of being ridiculous. Like I said, it's kind of sad watching a grown man, someone who could be your grandfather, begging for the love and admiration of other dudes, of other dudes he's never met. But let me know what you guys think about Skip Bayless and his obsession with LeBron James and Kevin Durant. Also, give me your thoughts on him claiming Kevin Durant needs him for motivation. Sound off in the comments below. Make sure to like and subscribe. Click the notification bell to receive all notifications from the channel. Best way to contact me is by email at btlkc84 at gmail.com. KC underscore BTL84 on Twitter. I'll see you guys later.